Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Please tell me you will still love me after this. Today, I'm going to be going through all of the books that I own. This video has a number of purposes. Uh, foremost, we're going to be finding out how many books I own. Okay, that's number one. Goal number two, uh, how many unread books do I own? That's the scary one, but not really because I'm going to read every single book that I own at some point. The other goal that I want is to, because I've completely lost track of the amount of books I own, how many of them are read, how many of them are unread, and I want to know as well what books I have left on my shelves that I own from countries that I haven't yet read from because if you don't know I'm doing um, a reading around the world challenge where I try to read a book from every single country and I have I do have books from different countries that I haven't read from yet I just want like a list so that when I go to knock off another country from that challenge I know what I have if that makes sense and then finally I just want to see how many books I have in each genre um, and how many of each genre are read so if I have like 200 classics have I read 100 of them have I read 50 of them have I read them all but the first task that is going to take a long time is to count them all and then while I'm going through every single book that I own I also have bookshelves behind you to the side of you and in the front room I am going to be just marking read or unread so a la cuisine what a flattering angle I don't know if you can see let me just bring them down if I can. <laughs> I can't, never mind. I have more than a few books in German, which I cannot read yet, so I'm not going to count them towards my unread books, just to be a little nice to myself, because there's not really any point yet. I will learn German. I am trying. We're going to get there one day. Did someone say German? If you too want to start speaking, reading, loving the German language, or any language for that matter, uh, you're in luck because I'm so happy that I get to thank Babbel for sponsoring today's video. I've been working with Babbel for ages. They are one of the top language learning apps in the world. They are tried and tested to get you up and speaking a language in just three weeks, and they have a ton of interactive ways to get you learning with their app. Ich spreche Englisch. I do speak English. Now with 2023 just having rolled around, tons of people are setting up their New Year's resolutions, their goals. I know that learning new languages are at the top of the list for a lot of you guys. It's definitely a goal. I talk about this a lot, how I want to read Rilke, but I also want to travel and I would really like to go to Germany as well. I love Babbel because if you're not loving it, there's a 20 day money back guarantee. The lessons are organized and created by real language teachers and as well they use like real world conversations and not silly things that you would never say to a real human being. Ich bin Sarah, ich komme aus Frankreich, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch. So if you guys are interested, click the link in the description box or scan the QR code to get 60% off of your subscription with Babbel. So thank you so much for sponsoring and let's see how many unread books I own. I have two, is it just two books? All of my German books are Rilke, who is my favorite poet. Three books about Rilke that I haven't yet read, so that's one, two, three. I have the Duino Elegies up there, which I have read. Next pile over is one, two, three, four more German books. In the middle, we have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, right up there, that blue thing. I've read Frankenstein, phenomenal. And then moving it over one more, I have another copy of Sonnets to Orpheus, and then I have two books in German, is this? No, one more book in German, and then the Sonnets, which I read and The Poet's Guide to Rilke, which I haven't read. I'm gonna start with my Penguin Classics. Let's do this. The very first book I have up there is Leo Tolstoy's How Much Land Does a Man Need? I've read that. This is gonna take me all day. I'm gonna pull out the ones that I have read. Okay, so as you can see from the top shelf here, the only ones that I've read are The Haunting of Hill House, Phantom of the Opera, The Symposium, Childhood Boyhood Youth, The Turnip Princess, Ethan Frome, Beowulf, Anna Karenina, and Emma. So the rest of these, even though some of them are short stories and I've read a bunch of the short stories, I'm not going to count them as fully complete unless I've actually read it. For example, like the other Tolstoy short stories, I've read most of them in here, but I haven't read all of them yet, so I don't want to count the whole collection as complete because it's not, so let's add this to the tally. Okay, so after that first row of Peng Penguin Classics, we're at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27 unread books and 5, 10, uh, 14 books read. So 27 to 14 books read. 
I know, I know that the majority of books I have, I haven't read. Last year I read 141 books, the year before that 135. Like I get through books at a good pace, but for the past few years I have been picking up a lot of books that I don't own myself while also acquiring a lot of books from different places. So this year's goal is to get through these ones and focus less on books that I don't own because like I already have things that I own. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna move on to the Arcturus classics now. First one, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yes. Great Gatsby. Yes. De Profundis. No. The Old Curiosity Shop. Yes. The Professor. Yes. The Woman in White. No. Madame Bovary. Yes. We Have Always Lived in the Castle. Yes. The Lovecraft Compendium. No. The Prince, yes. Beyond Good and Evil, yes. Classic Tales of Horror, yes. Frankenstein, yes. The Picture of Dorian Gray, yes. The Bell Jar, yes. And Leaves of Grass, yes. That felt good. I don't know why I've read so many of these Arcturus editions, but I have. So I think because these are the ones, they're very budget friendly. I've owned most of those classics for a long time. And so like those were the ones in my early days of collecting books that I was reading. So I've actually read most of that stack, which feels pretty good. And we're a lot more even now on read and unread. So, okay, now we're gonna move on to the Oxford world classics. All of these big boys up here. Persuasion? No. Do you know what? Persuasion is one of the Austin novels that I have left that I haven't yet read. Northanger Abbey and other stories. Oh, see, this is the thing. This copy of Northanger Abbey is obviously Northanger Abbey, which I have read, but it also contains Lady Susan the Watsons and Sandition, which I haven't read. So I think for completeness' sake, I have to put this in unread. Nope. No, no. Pickwick Papers, yes. Oh, here comes the Dickens. The Dickens train is here. Pickwick Papers, yes. Nicholas Nickleby, yes. Barnaby Rudge, yes. Martin Chuzzlewit, that was a DNF, I can't lie. Uh, Dombey and Son, yes. Love of my life. Uh, Great Expectations, yes. Daisy Miller, ah, Daisy Miller and other stories. It's the other stories that gets me, you know. War and Peace is a big fat yes. Now that I'm done with the first two shelves of classics, we have 49 unread books. So it's 49 to 32 right now. 32 read. I'm actually gonna plop you here so we can finish this little stack of classics because these are more Rilke. So right now I just want to do all of the classics, get all the classics done. So we have Poems Tonight, which I read, and then we have two like, I don't know, quote books that I haven't finished all the way through, a book of selected poetry I haven't finished all the way through, and two other books of selected poetry I haven't finished all the way through. Okay, so out of this stack I've read one book. Moving on to more Penguin modern classics, I'm gonna pull out the ones from this collection that I have read. This stack is pretty good, I think. I think I've read most of these, and a lot of these ended up being like my favorite book. My favorites, some of my favorites. So yes, I have read quite a few of these. Ignore the Faber and Faber cocktail party, it doesn't belong here, but it was just the same color. Okay, there we go. So those are the ones that I've read, which feels pretty good. We have Legend of the Sleepers, Things Fall Apart, Season Migration, Ice Palace on the Road, Lady Chatterley's Lover, Early Poems, Cocktail Party, and Wide Sargasso Sea. Then we have three Barnes & Noble editions. None of these are read all the way through, so that's three more unread. We have four Shakespeare plays, and I have read through... No, I've read two of them. I've read Twelfth Night and Midsummer Night's Dream, so again a 50-50 split. Dante's Inferno, which I've read. So I've read The Inferno, I've read Pride and Prejudice, I've read Elizabeth Barrett. Elizabeth Barrett Browning's Sonnets. This one's frustrating, the Agatha Christie classics, because I've read everyone except for one story in there. Things are looking a little dire, but I'm not gonna give up hope. Then we have my Rilke shelf, which I'd like to think I've read most of, but we're gonna see if that's actually true, right? Let's take a look-see. Stories to God, Book of Hours, The Book of Images, Letters to a Young Poet, of which I have how many goddamn copies? Three, I have five copies. Um, new poems I haven't touched, which is now my undoing because I have four copies of it. Then I've read this, read this. The Dark Interval, which I feel like I should reread this year. It got a little water damaged, but I really, one of my favorite books to ever exist. It's just a collection of his letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 out of the that I've read. 
9, 10. Okay, so I have read more from this shelf than I haven't read. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I wish I was taller. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. This book on the shelf is The Poems of Emily Dickinson. Not read. Is Crime and Punishment. Read. Frederick Douglass and Harriet Jacobs. Read. Uh, the Count... The Count of Monte Cristo, that's a nope. Um, T.S. Eliot, yes. F. Scott Fitzgerald, no. F. Scott Fitzgerald again, no. Maurice, yes. Robert Frost, yes. This is a book as well that I feel like gets no attention, that like I don't remember is on my shelf. Westwood by Gibbons, Stella Gibbons, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I feel like I barely ever like acknowledge that this book exists. There's just some books on my shelf that I feel like are hidden from me um, in, in the way that I just don't ever think about them. So this is one of them. Metamorphosis. See, why haven't I read The Metamorphosis? Couldn't tell you. Maybe, maybe I'll try to read Moby Dick this year. I don't know. I don't know. Although it smells like it would kill my lungs if I ground this into dust and inhaled it. Anyway, musty as hell. It's not looking as dire as I thought it would. For this shelf, I feel like maybe I want to pull some out and talk about it, you know? So, this book, we have Phantom of the Opera. Yes, I read it. We have the island- okay, wait! Maybe this is a good shelf. We have The Island of Dr. Moreau. Here it is. Yes, I read it. Paradise Lost. Yes, I read it. Um, that feels good to say I read all Paradise Lost. That feels good, I can't lie to you. Uh, no. This is a very recent purchase, so have not yet read God is Dead. And we have two Oscar Wilde plays that I have read. Lady Windermere's Fan and Salome. I really love these two. Highly recommend. I like Salome a bit better than Lady Windermere's Fan, but they're honestly both really good. This is where the quote, like, you're in the gutter but you're looking at the stars, comes from. So the ones that I haven't read, why haven't I read these? Um, the Kreutzer Tolstoy, I'm a little bit, I am a little bit exhausted of Tolstoy, I'm not gonna lie, and I do have so much of his work on my shelf. I've read all his major novels, and now, oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Um, now all that's left for me are his short stories, so, um, and I don't love short stories in general, so I haven't, oh, 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 okay. You're fine, it's okay. And then I have a couple of Virginia Woolf, I don't know how I feel about Virginia Woolf yet, I really don't. And then we have Yates, Journey to the West, and Beauty and the Beast. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we have one more little shelf of classics that I need to go through. Okay, so for the stack, you're gonna have to believe me because they're right here and they're really high up. So we have Wuthering Heights, which I've read. Jane Eyre, read. A Room with a View, read. Uh, to the Lighthouse, that's a big fat no. Uh, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, yes. Dracula, yes. A Tale of Two Cities, no. But the last one, Oliver Twist, yes. That was a fine shelf. I feel good with that progress. So this is the final tally for classics. So I actually have three classics from countries I haven't read from. Uh, we have Sweden with Callow Kane, Kenya with Devil on the Cross, and Denmark with Niels Linna. Um, I technically have read from Denmark, but it wasn't like a full novel, so I'm gonna say that I haven't because um, I'd like something a bit more substantial than a short story. So now that we have all of our classics, I think, am I missing anything? I am. I'm missing one because I'm currently reading A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, but I will be completing that soon, so I'm gonna count this towards read because it's, it's gonna be read. Is there anything else I'm missing? Chess. My boyfriend is currently reading Chess by Spike, so it's not on my bookshelf, and that is one that I've read. I own 231 classics, pieces of classic literature, and out of those, I've read 100 of them. So I've read 100 out of my 231 classics. Well, minus, minus seven, because there's some books that, like, the German books I can't read. I like having a lot of books just, like, there for me when I want to go to them, when I want to study them, if I ever need to have them, so... That feels pretty okay. Now we're just gonna go into, I guess, general fiction. Most of it is lit fic, historical fic.
this is really sad okay i think this is the section where like i've grown so much in recently in the past two years that like i've received but also collected and a lot of them are gifts from you guys books that like are now so my taste but because it's such a recent thing for me like discovering all these super cool books that i really really want to read um i haven't read most of them so that this is our tally for unread and read just in that first line of shelves so that's pretty sad but i did want to go through a few of the unread ones because there are some from different countries for example the first one is this earth of mankind this one is from indonesia haven't read this one really really want to so i'm gonna mark that in my list i also have nicaragua that i have not yet read from and that is infinity in the palm of her hand this is the one that i have this was a gift from one of you guys thank you so much um i cannot cannot wait to read this this is like a retelling of adam and eve in the garden for afghanistan i have a thousand splendid sons by Khaled Desaini, which again have not read for albania i have the palace of dreams uh really really want to read this one i bought this one in october yeah clearly most of the ones along like from here to here <laughs> are unread um but those are the ones that i'm like most excited about reading. Beauty is a wound. No. Under the glacier. No. Okay, this is the last book that I completed from my bookshelves, um, and that's in the dream house. I actually finished this last night. Very affecting. So this one is yes. Solar Bones, yes. Song of Achilles, yes. This is one, this is another one I feel like that is a big mystery on my shelves, The Being for a Dead Princess. I really want to read this this year. I, I mean, I've been saying that since I bought it. A little bit of a Mishima collection going, even though I've only read one of his books. These are all Yukio Mishima. We have The Temple of the Golden Pavilion, Life for Sale, Thirst for Love, uh, Confessions of a Mask and The Sailor Who Fell from Grace with the Sea. And this one is the only one that I've read so far. I read this last year, really liked it, really glad I have this many Mishima. So that's four unread, it's one read. A Mercy by Toni Morrison is unread, but I currently do have the audiobook in for this. So this is probably gonna be one of the next audiobooks I listen to and it is gonna be ticked off, but for now I am gonna put it in unread. As for Beloved, um, that is a read. We have two Pamuk books. Snow is red, but Istanbul is not red. And then the last book on the shelf is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, which as you can see is red. This is a dark academia about Shakespeare. But clearly, it's still not doing too hot. Okay, this shelf is very easy to go through. All my Harry Potter books are red. Uh, this compendium is not red. This anthology is not red. <laughs> Everything except the Harry Potter books are unread. So all of these books are unread. Okay, so I just finished counting the shelf once again. <laughs> this is the section of my bookshelf that I just have so many unread books. We have stuff like Blindness by Saramago. We have 10 Minutes, 38 Seconds in the Strange World by Elif Shafak. I really want to read all of this. Stuff like Perfume, uh, Latitudes of Longing, which is another five-star prediction. Uh, the Makioka Sisters, To Be Devoured is like this really gross horror book that I bought but I haven't yet read. It's, it, this is a short one, so like I could read this. I feel like I was saving it for Halloween. A lot of these are from you guys. Do you know that? Thank you. Um, and then to finish it up, we have Stoner, which I read, Sexing the Cherry, which I read. We have one more Jeanette Winterson book that I haven't read, and then the final one on here before it splits. Um, actually, JK doesn't split. It's just organized weird. Is Cloud Street by Tim Winton, which is unread. I might as well just go through the couple of young adult books that are here because this is like where they fit. Um, because like I did put down a middle grade section for Harry Potter. I have the entire Shatter Me series. Um, this is hard. Well, it's not that hard. I've read books one. I've read one of the novellas from here so technically this is not read fully because this has two novellas okay we're just okay oh god so shatter me yes unite me no unravel me yes ignite me yes uh restore me yes find me no defy me no imagine me no believe me no 
Can you believe that? I have two of the Madman's Daughter books here by Megan Shepard. I don't have the first one, so I have books two and three. I never finished the series. Um, I need to get the first one. I would love to get it in hardback to match, but these are young adult retellings of um, The Island of Dr. Moreau, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Frankenstein for show. Obviously, I love them. Uh, one of my favorite YA series, although I haven't read it in a while. Then I have this huge stack of middle grade. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make an assumption that most of my middle grade is read. I feel like I know that could be really wrong because the first book here I'm seeing is The Wizard of Oz. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. This was a gift. I think it came all the way from South Korea. Um, it's so pretty, but the first book is unread. I haven't read The Wizard of Oz. <sighs> Peter Pan, yes. Wind in the Willows, yes. We have the Patrick Carmen Young Adult series, love. All three of those are read. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle, yes. I have not read the sequel. Sucks. I've read Coraline. I've read Firebringer. I've read Tuck Everlasting. I've read Matilda. I've read The Little Prince. And I've read Tinder. Thank you. I mean, that does check out because, like, I've had them since I was a kid, so they should be read. I have not read A Little Life. I have not read A Little Life. Do I want to read A Little Life? I don't know. Passenger, I haven't read. We have The Summer I Turned Pretty, yes. Gemina, yes. The most recent young adult book I read was Girl About Time. I finished this a couple days ago, so I get to check that off. Mina and the Undead is unread. Tantalize read. The Raven Boys? No. And then we move into the fantasy section. First book in the fantasy <laughs> section is The Stardust Thief, which is, yes, you guessed it. Haven't read it. <sighs> I actually haven't read any of these four because then we have The Atlas Six, The Wolf and the Whale, and Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Uh-oh. Okay, if you take a look at these manga, I think I've only, I'm gonna say, I think I only have three unread because the only ones I have unread is volume six of Hunter Hunter, uh, volume four of Kitchen Princess, and volume three of Sailor Moon. The rest of these, all read. So happy. I just need volume three of Kitchen Princess be because I can't move on, but these are all read. Oh, hi. I've arrived at the last shelf on my bookshelf. I got very, <laughs> I was like, Emma, oh my gosh. Um, the good news I can tell you is that I've read more sci-fi than I haven't read of the ones that I own. And that I've also read... Nope, that's it. That's it. Okay, so the last shelf here is Classical Studies, Ancient Greece and Rome. And then we have Nonfiction and Poetry. So we're going to start with Classical Studies. I've read The Odyssey... The Iliad. I've read Anne Carson Sappho. Works and Days. Read. Uh, Apollonius. Not read. Oristia. Read. Prometheus Bound. Not read. Aristophanes. Not read. The Bacchae. Not read. Um, Anne Carson's Oristia. Not read. Grief Lessons. Nope. Thucydides. Did I read the whole history? I don't think so. The Mycenaeans. No. Oh, you know what I did read? I did read Sophocles' Three Theban Plays. Um, I also read Suetonius's Lives of the Caesars and Anonymous's Lives of the Later Caesars. That feels good. I read Cleopatra by Stacey Schiff. And then for nonfiction, I read Chinese Myths and Legends. We have A History of the Bible, Not Completed. Synesthesia, no. The Brain That Changes Itself, no. The Body Keeps the Score, yes, fantastic. Young Romantics, no. Um, okay, so I have done, I'm done counting every single book on these bookshelves, and I just want to give you like a tally <laughs> of all the books that are on these bookshelves. It's looking really bad. Uh, it's looking not good for me. It looks like this is gonna be a huge, huge challenge. So just on the shelf, out of lit fic, general fic, adult fiction, I have 167 of those, and out of that, I've only read 41 of them. The good news is um, my middle grade is pretty much almost completed, young adult is almost completed, fantasy, manga, sci-fi, and even the classical study section and the poetry section are pretty even. It's just like that one section because those are all books that have come into my life 
mostly all in the past year or year and a half that I've not been able to just like catch up on reading because I mean 141 books that's or what did I say no I said 167 but last year I read 141 books so obviously there's no way I could have kept up with that intake if you will but now I'm gonna add together all of the books from this bookshelf okay so on the bookshelves behind me I have this many books I have 561 books behind me I'm not gonna tell you yet how many of those are unread I'm gonna give you my final final tally of everything so <laughs> let's finish this up really quickly because I have one there, one there, one there, one there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight more tiny shelves to show you. Okay, this is my winter shelf and I feel pretty good about this. Like I never want this shelf to go out of stock because um, I just want to forever have winter books to read. So I've read The Nutcracker, I've read Castle in the Clouds, I've read Midnight in Everwood, Enchanted Sonata, Shiver and Icefield, which is my favorite book from 2023. And then I have not read Ember and the Ice Dragons, Echo North, Hidden Sea, The Snow Child, The Winter Duke, and A Winter's Promise. So that's actually an even split as well. 50% of these books have been read and 50% of them have not been read. Okay, and then we have the Murakami shelf. So as you guys know, I'm doing like a reading Murakami chronologically. So most of these I know are not read. Uh, Windball, or no, Windball. <laughs> Hear the Wind Sing and Pinball 1967, read. A Wild Sheep Chase, read. Um, Hard Boiled Wonderland, no. Norwegian Wood, yes. His two short story collections, are these both short stories? I think so, no. Uh, Wind Up Gerd, <laughs> Wind Up Gerd Chronicle, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, yes. Um, Sputnik Sweetheart, no. Kafka on the Shore, no. After Dark, yes. Uh, two copies of After Dark, I love both of them. Uh, 1Q84, no, heaven help me. Colorless Sukuro, no. Uh, Killing Commendatory, no. Uh, what I talk about, and then he has a nonfiction, nope. Two nonfictions, no. So I've only read one, two, three, four five six six but technically five okay this top shelf is my david mitchell shelf i have a lot of david mitchell for only having read two of his novels <laughs> um but i just know i'm gonna love all of them so the two that i have read are cloud atlas and ghost written and then i did start number nine dream but i just wasn't in the mood for it so i put it down this shelf this is the last one in my office this is my romance shelf it's mostly fantasy romance or dark romance so the first one here is from lukov with love which like i actually had out last night thinking about reading but i haven't read that one we have my two Fortuna Swarm books, and I normally have four because I have all four in the series, but two of them are lent out to friends. So I've read all four of those. Love that series. A Dowry of Blood. Yes. Um, I've read Neon Gods. Um, Neverwhere. No. Um, Unmasked. No. And then I've read Music of the Night and Her Soul to Take. Okay, and then these are the last four shelves that I have to count. Most of these, like these two are fantasy, and then this one down here is a mix of middle grade and young adult. So both of my Game of Thrones books are read. Um, over here are my two Wheel of Time books. This one is read, but the second one is not. And then this is just like a medley of stuff. So I've read this, read this. I haven't read Wolf for a Spell, and I haven't read My Neighbor Totoro, which is shocking. And then I think the last one, oh, I haven't read Traitor to the Throne or Green Glass House, but that's only four. So out of this whole shelf, I've only not read four, which feels good. Um, this fantasy shelf, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. I haven't finished the last two Lord of the Rings books. I haven't read this Susanna Clarke book or Titus Grown. I haven't read any of the Witcher books. So this one I think has more not completed and like more in the series. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm done adding everything up. You'll be pleased to know I have the results. Um, it's not looking good. You know, if I were to give myself a performance review, if I got the score on a test, if I scored this percentage on a test, like of the number of books I read, if I scored that percentage, I'd be having a bad day. 
but do you know what i'm not actually too upset about it because it's just something like so nice to look forward to to know that i have so many new friends to me and before i go on like a long rant of how i don't know important important it is to have like unread books or books you know you're gonna get into eventually or just the idea of having a library by itself that you take what you need when you need it um i won't i'll stop myself and i'll just tell you the number um so everyone watching this video hi um i own place your guesses now i would honestly love to know your guesses on like how many books you think i own i own a whopping 641 books that is the total number of books that i own like on the shelf on all the shelves in my apartment that's how many books i have in my living space 641 out of those 641 books people i have read 266 that's 41 percent that's 41 percent i haven't even read half of the books that i own i think i kind of knew that but i think maybe i thought it was a bit closer to like at least 300 like the 300 mark the truth is out i've read 41 percent of the books that i own but i have been doing really good the past few months at only reading books for my shelves and not buying new books and just like really treating my home library as something that is just like so it's just so special to me um it's been really helpful to me lately but that that is how many books i own that's how many books i've read i've outed myself feel free to do the same to yourself in the comments so i don't feel so alone i'd love to know how many unread books you own so that means that i own 375 books 375 <laughs> books that i haven't read if i can read like 140 150-ish books in a year that means that i can like you know get through a decent amount of the unread books that i own now i'm gonna probably put all of that information into um notion and then tick off like the books in the genre that i read when i read them because if you really want the specifics i've read 101 out of my 232 classics 48 out of my 191 lit fic adult fiction generalized fiction historical fiction just like anything that isn't a classic and anything that isn't genre genre like literature I'm just gonna call it literature and that's really the problem area is the literature section of my bookshelf it is bursting full of things that i want to get my hands on uh but i have how many options is that i have over i have almost 150 options that's crazy um i've read 33 out of my 44 middle grades i've read nine out of my 19 young adult books i've read 15 out of my 33 fantasy books 16 of my 20 mangas nine of my 17 science fictions uh i've read zero out of five out of my norton anthology of english literatures but come on what did you expect you think i was gonna read 3,000 pages back to back? No. I've read two out of my seven philosophy books. I have more than that, but the count's a little off. I've read 10 out of my 23 classical studies books, two out of my 11 nonfiction books, eight out of 11 romance books, six out of 12 winter books, and finally seven out of my 16 poetry books. So like, honestly, all the numbers are pretty fine except for the freaking literature section um and that's the section that you guys have been sending me so many books in my old p.o box for so long i am thinking of opening a new p.o box although that would probably mean that this video would become defunct pretty quickly um but yeah that's where i need to focus probably a lot of my reading because everywhere else is pretty pretty fine i've read most of the other ones so anyway i want to say thank you so much for coming along on this uh harrowing very just confessional father i have sinned journey and also i forgot to say but it's probably in the description box that um i wanted you to vote on the ones that i should get to as soon as possible out of my unread books also thank you to babble for sponsoring today's video and on that note i'm gonna stop babbling so until the next one ciao